you can tell when your car battery's dying. But with your water heater, you'll never know until it starts leaking. Before you buy another tank, consider a Navian tankless water heater. No storage tank to heat or leak. Lower energy bills and endless hot water for spa-like comfort. All backed by Navian's strong warranty. If your water heater is over 8 years old, it's time to check out Navian at tanklessmadesimple.com. Want it dead or barely alive? Your old or outdated computers, monitors, and televisions working or not? Don't trash it, recycle it. eCycle Washington makes it easy. Households, small businesses, public schools, and other organizations in Washington may drop off unwanted computers, monitors, and televisions at over 300 locations statewide for free. Find the location nearest you at eCycleWashington.org and click on Where Can I Recycle? That's eCycleWashington.org. Hey, this is BJ. Thanks for listening to our show's podcast. If you're a fan of all things geeky, you should check out my other podcast, BJ Shea's Geek Nation. We have new episodes every day, and you can check it out at BJGeekNation.com. Your driver's license is important so you can get back and forth to work, get your kids to school, and back and forth to daycare. If your license has been suspended because you can't pay your tickets, you can't do any of those things. Let's talk about Chapter 13 bankruptcy. You may have heard the tickets cannot be discharged, but they can be dealt with in a Chapter 13 case. Why not come in for a free consultation? The chapter you choose will make all the difference to your getting back legally on the road. Let's design a plan to pay off your tickets and restore your license immediately. I'm attorney Travis Gagné. Please contact me today at ChooseTheRightChapter.com. That's ChooseTheRightChapter.com. 99.9 99.9 KISW, The Rock of Seattle. So what's something that's perfectly legal but feels illegal while you're doing it? Oh. And um, we got some cool answers that we can throw at you. Sex. <laughs> Sex feels illegal while you're what doing it. What are you it. doing, man? <laughs> yeah, right? I don't know. It's the first thing I thought it was that or jaywalking, and I realized jaywalking is illegal. Yeah, that's totally illegal. Yeah, I, um, uh, I'm not sure where to go from there. I think, well, uh, well, one for me is going into a store and using their bathroom without buying anything. Because I've had those oh. bathroom emergencies where I've got to go anywhere, but I don't need to buy anything. So I just kind of sneak out. I feel really bad. Number Dude, three on the list. That's a good one because my wife has like the bladder the size of like a little peanut. <laughs> so like wherever we go, we have to sometimes there's moments where she's like, we need to go either to a McDonald's or a gas station. Because so, I got to go, you know, number one, but whatever. It's like, I'm like, okay. Well, now I feel weird because, like, we're going in there. We're not really buying anything. So I'm like, oh, babe, I'm just going to get a cheeseburger because it's you really rude. To, yeah. That oh, year. you are such a great guy. Look and you. you. Have, and you have to go to the McDonald's because yeah. they always clean their bathrooms. I've gotten so many French fries for that reason. Because <laughs> I feel like, oh, man, if they find out, we're going to be on the news. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's going to be a problem. <laughs> Real life Bonnie and Clyde here. You think she's on to you? Oh yeah, she yeah, she's. I'm gonna I'm gonna ruin something for you. I found out. Uh, So you know when you see those signs on the freeway that says you know next exit, all these food places or whatever. They have to let you use the bathroom. They do? Yeah. When I when I worked at a restaurant like Stevens as a teenager, we had a sign that said, hey, this our restaurant is up at the next exit. And I would get mad when people would come in just to use the bathroom and walk out. My boss was like, no, 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 you have to let them because our, our sign's up. Up oh, on the that's freeway. part of the deal. If they mm-hmm. put your, if they, if they advertise your place on the exit, then you have to let them use it as a rest stop. That's what my boss said. Because we don't have rest stops anymore. Uh, real, like Not there really. used to be rest stops. Yeah, I mean there are some here and there, but mm-hmm. it used to be lots of rest stops for restrooms and everything. And so that's the deal they made. You can we, you open your restaurant and we'll advertise it, and we don't have to maintain the rest stop as the as the state anymore because you'll maintain it in exchange for the advertising. Everybody gets to use your restroom, right? Because I oh. wanted to. Stop all the time. People will be like, hey, you have to buy something to use the oh, bathroom. You're a and potty stopper? That's the worst. Well, no, like, I, thought, I thought I had to. I thought it was my job. And he's I like, no, 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 no. Yeah, I, I, I learned to. something to well, that. I don't need, uh, my wife doesn't need to know that because no, then I don't get french fries. No, we, we will not tell her this. <laughs> okay, fair. <laughs> yes. What about wet wipes? Uh, like Buffalo Wild Wings. Huh? When you use them, you feel like it's illegal? No, I usually take a couple extras for later. Oh, uh, well, there is taking too many napkins from a restaurant so you can use them as tissues later. So I, close, yeah. That's a close thing there. Yeah. So we have number one and number three kind of, uh, okay. kind of doing it. Um, number two is interesting. I, I, I've had to do this, trying to break into your own home because yeah. you're locked out. 
I mean, it isn't a legal thing you're trying to do. It's trying to break but into your home. But you feel like a criminal. Yeah, even though it's your own house. But if somebody sees you trying to break into your house, and neighbors don't necessarily know a lot of their neighbors anymore, so they easily or, can call the cops. Yeah, or if they just uh, like hear a noise or something, they're going to or hear somebody uh, shuffling around in the back. I do number four all the time, which, by the way, that sounds like a bathroom thing. Uh-oh. I know. Yeah. What's, What's number, number four? One? I know number one, number two. Number three has been joked about, but yeah. what is number four? Yeah, number oh, four. Uh, number four involves an urban dictionary term. Um, and I do this in the store because I'm hungry. I'm at a grocery store, and I'm hungry, so I oh, do number four. You eat the food you're about to buy. Open a snack before I pay for it. And then you just give them the container, the empty container, the empty wrapper to scan. I used to, oh, when I worked at a, a grocery store, when someone would come up and the bag was already eaten, my first thought was like, you're a savage. You couldn't even wait until you left the store and you, here you are eating your chips. Like, I, I don't know why, but that just bothers me. Yeah. See, yeah. I've, I hate doing that, but I've had to do that recently because I was with my foster brother and he was ha- having a tantrum. I could not handle him and i'm like here's some goldfishies enjoy and i just go through the self-checkout so i just scan it there oh that's good so i don't feel so bad see i never feel bad i'm i'm basically your stepbrother in that situation when i go shopping with my girlfriend it happens almost every sunday i open something and then i just (laughs) tell the checker yeah i this is i need to buy this do you have a preferred uh food snack it's usually a drink, actually, because ah, I'm usually sorry. just super thirsty. So I'll have like a bottle of water or Red Bull if it's like after a Hawks game or something. You know, so do you hand this half drinking can to the person in the ring, just, or, do you have the, or do you just ask them to scan it with the gun? Yes, yeah, okay. the gun. Gun me, baby. Yes. Yep. <laughs> which uh, which brings me to number five, Danny, because of because uh, here's the thing that bothers me, and it's not the same as what five says, but it's down the same path. Because number five says when you're at a store and realize there's something in your pocket that they also sell there. <laughs> oh. For me, it's buying an item that you don't need a bag for, like a drink, and then walking into another store that also sells that drink. Oh. And you're like, and now you're just rubbing it in. Well, or you gave my money to someone else. <laughs> well, because people do drink half; they drink stuff in the mm-hmm. same store. So right. it's like you get up to the counter. And they go, all right, we need to scan that. No, 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 I bought this somewhere else. Right. Dude, we sell Diet Coke. What are you talking yeah, about? Did you get a receipt for that, and sir? that's the thing. I sometimes, I always get receipts for that reason now. Because <laughs> that happened to me one time. I Hard to believe, but I got into a fight with somebody Shocking. from once. <laughs> because there are two stores. Usually it's a grocery store, then you've got a drug store. And they both will sell drinks that you can buy right there. And hey, everybody sells Diet Coke, right? Kind of. So, yeah, so. yeah, right. Wow. Kind of on that same thing is uh, since we got the Amazon Go store super close to us it's so weird to go in there just grab things and leave oh, yeah someone yeah. said you yeah. ever go shopping at one of the amazon go stores yeah that's so awesome you're it's right so weird though and i'm just like what if they what if somebody comes in behind me and gets something and there's no one else in the store but i'm just trying to figure out like uh, i'm not gonna get screwed by this am i and so far i haven't been that happened when i originally they started doing that at the apple store i remember going in there you have like your apple app and you can purchase stuff on your app and i remember leaving the store like almost like comically like showing my phone like purchased it totally purchased this cell phone case <laughs> i have proof of it right here on my phone when they're all looking at me like yeah we're aware that's why we yeah, have we, this we know that's, like, how, that's how it works like we would have gotten an alarm go off if you walked out with this you idiot i think there's only what a couple of amazon go stores so a lot of people have not experienced it but i've had a hard time not buying everything because i feel like it's all free yeah. Do you know, it's like, I want this, I want this, I want this. And I look at the guy, like, <laughs> I can really get out. And he gives me the look like, you're all set to go. Yeah, and I'm yeah, like, I'm not yes. going to stop you, man. Supermarket sweep. It's like, no, you paid for all this, you idiot. You'll see later. Oh, I just <laughs> thought of one because of, like, you savages that eat your chips and drink your drinks before you actually purchase them. <laughs> oh, thanks for, <laughs> for savage shaming me. Have you ever done this where you feel like like you, you're at a grocery store? Or even at the airport, I've done this before. And I felt like, oh, I'm breaking the law. And I just opened up a magazine. I don't necessarily want to buy it, but I wanted to just. I kind of like to see whatever that oh, article was. Yeah. So I like just wanted to quickly glance at something in the magazine, and I was like, I gotta hurry up before the clerk or the the person in the store finds out, or they're gonna make me pay four ninety nine for this <laughs> Rolling Stone. Yeah, that you know, I wonder. How, if I, I sometimes I look at that magazine rack now. Stephen goes, anybody buying these anymore? Because everything's online. Yeah, but that used to be an old thing that I had too. Because I would look at Mad Magazine and I, when I was a kid and try to read as much as I could because I didn't have the money. <laughs> and they always catch you. The only place where I actually will buy magazines at the airport. Yeah. Because that's the that only time sense, where I'm yeah. going to be somewhere where maybe the Wi Fi is going to be crappy, and at least I have a magazine to look through. Oh, and it's good not, call. It's not the the whatever the Sky Miles magazine. What's oh, that those called? are fun. Yeah, that's the one where you can find all the weird things yeah. to purchase. But, you know, that's not going to last a whole flight. I need something else to stimulate me. I'm, I'm very surprised. <laughs> you know what? You're usually asleep the whole flight. Yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> I 
That's a really good point. See, I did that. But That's why he buys a magazine. It gets him to sleep quicker. Yeah. When, I was, when I was in college and bookstores were still a thing, I would, instead of like actually buying a book that I needed for school, I would just go to like one of the bookstores and just read the book there. By the way, ladies and gentlemen, wow. you and Steve both, number seven Criminal. on the list. Yeah, isn't that illegal? I'm Probably. sure that doesn't happen at the Barnes & Noble ever. They had they had recliners there. Like at that point, I'm assuming, and they had a coffee shop, like... Well, I I'm think they're hoping you buy the book and then sit there and read. Yeah, that's what I know. Was what I it's so a you new, just go to the record store and yeah. put the headphones on and just keep listening to the same record every couple of days. Yes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it, it is the strategy. I mean, look, that's what that's what these game store cafes are all about as well. They're hoping you buy the game that they let you play for free. Yeah. Amazon's got the bookstore Bellevue Square, where it's the same thing. I know, hard to believe Amazon actually has a real bookstore, <laughs> which is sort of like you know going back to the source that they destroyed in the first place. You know, Danny, if you didn't have the money for the books, there's this invention. I don't know if you've heard of it. It's called a library. Yeah. Yeah, but you, you have to buy some of them. Like, you literally can't just go and re- check them out. Like, well, and t- am well, I in the library? In the library and uh, you have to it. buy a book in a library? Dude, I used not. to spend so much money what? on books for, for class and stuff. Well, oh, oh, for school. For school yes. books. Yes. yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but you could go to the library and read a book and not leave the library. Or you could check it out, of course. True, but they, don't, but they didn't have a lot of the books for at the library. You had to buy them, like, per your professor. Weird. Which I, by the way, school books are the biggest scam. It was like, oh yeah, yeah the biggest scam Absolutely. ever. Absolutely, fifteen hundred dollars a semester. Like, yeah, it's, oh, it's stupid. It's, I'm not buying that. Dude, yeah. when we were cleaning out our house, my wife's like, I don't want to get rid of these books. I'm like, you have not been to UW for like ten years. Like, what do you like? The books have changed. Like, she's like, well, what if I need that? I'm like, we're never going to need these books. And then I finally came to the conclusion when we finally talked more about it. It was just that she couldn't let go of something that she spent so much money on. Yeah, and I was like, call. I get it, but it's time to go. <laughs> yeah, that's a tough. And I'm one. not the one that's usually telling you to throw something away. And I'm like, get rid of these books. Nice I'm not th- reading yeah. them. Yeah, and yeah. moving books sucks. Nice therapy, by the way, that yeah. she got to the core of it all. Oh, that's what we do, man, all the time. I, I had no the idea. Core of Look at you, man. all the time. Uh, this number six one is mostly a problem. For the guys, oh, something that uh, flashing that, they, junk. that they do. <laughs> oh, you're close. You're very close. Junk oh. is part of it. Flashing it is not part oh. of it. Whoa! Again, it feels illegal. Oh, well, sometimes grabbing. I go to the bathroom and I'm like in such a rush to use the they go to number one. Then the minute I step through the bathroom, I'm like already <laughs> whipping it out, and I realize I'm so glad every time that no one that from here at work is like walking out of a stall as I'm doing that. Yeah, That'd so be you, really you awkward. do that? Like you get you get fire ready before you even get to the the, the shooting range? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Thank God I'm not in the bathroom when that happens. That would be disturbing. That'd be very awkward. <laughs> yes, it would be very awkward. Nobody pulls out their weapon until they're ready to use it, sir. I gotta wait till I said someone says draw. Yeah, that's exactly <laughs> it. This one here, it does involve your junk. Okay. And it's something that oh, you do in public. Scratching or grabbing it? Yeah, oh, adjusting, boy. scratching, yeah. grabbing. I mean, you you do it, and you're not doing it to be lasci- you know, lascivious or anything. You're doing it because it's just uncomfortable. Adjustments need to be made. Yeah, and people, are, you know, it looks like, oh, my God, you pervert. Dude, I, that happens to me so much at the gym. I don't know if that's happening. Like you got, like I'll be like doing like some like a deadlift or like squats or something like that, where like all of a sudden I'm like kind of adjusting as I'm moving, and then when I get back up, like. It's adjusted to where it's... Oh, yeah. It's not good. It's just like if someone looks over, they're going to be like, what the hell is going on? <laughs> so I have to like adjust again. Yeah. But now I'm like, you know, in a gym full of like, you know, everybody, including women that are like, you know, doing their thing. And I look like I'm just like scratching myself or, or worse. Yeah, that's, a, that's a good look. After every set. Thank God there's not co-ed bathrooms because then there'd be the other problem. They'd be like, God, this guy's getting worked up over there. Oh, yeah. He's, you know, look at this guy. He's, uh, he's having a great time. I got to I gotta get those compression shorts just to yeah. keep things like down. That's a good call. Yes, you do. Um, how about this? Folks, this one is weird. Um, the people say they have this fear when they go through a metal detector, and this is something that they, they, they feel like they're doing something illegal. Whenever they go through a metal detector, they feel like, oh, did I put my gun on me? Yeah. Even if they, like, what? The gun uh, they don't even own? Yeah, even, like, there's a gun in your pocket you forgot about, so they, they immediately feel like they're doing something illegal walking through a metal detector, because what if I got now, a gun in my pocket I don't know about? I've kind of had this, not with a gun, because I don't own a gun, but okay. going through those, I've had um, the multi-tools. So the ones that have like the little knife blades or the wrenches yep. and all those little things on those. I've taken those with me, and it's just like, I swear to God, it's not a weapon. I promise. It was just a thing that I use for stuff. And like totally freaking out. And they're like, yeah, we know. We just, you have to throw it away now. Oh. And I was like, I was pissed because it's like a $60 tool. Yeah, that's a beating. Yeah. Oh, man. See, I, that has happened to me where I'm like, do I have drugs on me? Even though I know I don't have drugs on me. I'm like, <laughs> like, it's like you walk by one of those, those dogs at the, uh, at the airport. And you're oh, like, yeah. oh, man. 
they're going to smell something on me from like, you know, 10 years ago. I once smoked pot and they wore these jeans. I bet they can smell it. Like, it's so stupid. It's no different than when like a cop car gets behind you. Oh, yeah. And you're just like, crap, what am I doing that's illegal? I'm not sure, but I bet I'm going to get pulled over for it. Yep. <laughs> oh, yeah. And then you oh, And how about this one? This one I love because it does. I do feel badly about doing this, and it's usually because my wife makes me do it. And that is... The what? The what? <laughs> the what? Did you have a stroke, or were you trying to do an impression of a stroke? Uh, I was really censoring myself. Good call. Oh, oh yeah. you were about to say a naughty thing. Yeah. Oh, I was about to make a naughty sound. Yeah, <laughs> and gesture. <laughs> Well, you can make the gesture. Only we would see that. You know, I like to revoke my two minutes. You can't. You, you, yeah, you can't watch the presidential debates again because you have lost Slap all happy. professionalism. Yes. You understand that, right? What, what yeah. little bit I had is gone. Yeah, you've lost it all. We cannot use that debate as a way to, to conduct our lives. We have to remember that we have to be a little more. And we're radio idiots, and we still have to be a little bit more professional than what happened last night. Fair. Uh, this one here is ripping off one or two bananas off of a bunch at the grocery oh. store because you don't want that many. My wife makes me do that all the time, and I always feel like, oh, they're going to get mad at me. Oh, because they, she's like, I don't need five bananas. Yeah, give me two. And I'm it's like, all weight-based. I, I get it. I'm like, huh? they don't sell two bananas, honey. They sell them by the bunch. See, I didn't know that, that you could actually do that until I started dating my current girlfriend. And she doesn't do it with bananas, but she does it with uh, ginger. So if you do like a ginger root, oh, and really? she only needs a little bit, she rips it off. And I'm like, what are you doing? Yeah. And she, I was like, they're going to get mad at you. And she's like, no, they, they, I'm still going to pay for it. And it's right. literally, she's like, I just don't need that much ginger. And I was like, why? Yeah. <laughs> you sound like that thing Steve was trying to do. Exactly. Ah. Yeah. The bananas one, whenever I see it, I have too many. I'm just like, okay, I'll just eat more bananas. Like, I never think, okay, yeah. I should get less yeah, bananas. Right. I'm like, okay, challenge accepted. I'll, I have now seven bananas to work with. Well, uh, my wife. In abundance uh, of bananas. I wish you were my wife in that regard. That's, honey, take one for the team and eat the rest of these bananas. <laughs> you know, don't just it's get good the, for you. It's potassium. Uh, we got a new survey that asked for people, uh, asked people for the elements of the perfect Friday Inn. So this is your what? A, what makes a perfect Friday Inn? What do you think top the list? I'm going to tell you at eight seven with bananas. Yes. All right. I'll tell you at eight seventeen on the Rock. DJ and Mix mornings on the Rock ninety nine point nine KISW. You can tell when your car battery's dying. But with your water heater, you'll never know until it starts leaking. Before you buy another tank, consider a Navian tankless water heater. No storage tank to heat or leak. Lower energy bills and endless hot water for spa-like comfort. All backed by Navian's strong warranty. If your water heater is over 8 years old, it's time to check out Navian at tanklessmadesimple.com. Take back your space. Stop storing old electronics you'll never use again. Recycle your computers, monitors, and televisions for free with eCycle Washington. This free program can be used by households, small businesses, public schools, and other organizations across the state. Drop off unwanted TVs, computers, and monitors at over 300 locations in Washington State for free. Please check for the drop-off location nearest you at eCycleWashington.org. That's one word, eCycleWashington.org, and click on the Where Can I Recycle link. 99.9 99.9 KISW, the Rock of Seattle. A bunch of people were asked, okay, look, you know, a lot of us got a shelter in place and maybe our lives don't look so cool because we can't go out as much as we used to. So then, all right, we got a Friday night. We're going to spend it in. What are the perfect elements for the perfect Friday night in? Tiger we, King, of course. Tiger King, number one on the Be list. Watching. No, it's not. It's Hard not. pass. I got seven things that make uh, Friday a perfect Friday in. I got seven things. So you guys are staying in, and this is going to be a real fun time for you. What, what do you think? It sums up most Fridays for me these yeah. days. Uh, <laughs> ice cream. Ice cream. Oh, uh, good call. Well, dessert is uh, on the list at number two, but not ice cream. I totally disagree. I'll, I'll give you a clue. I totally disagree with this because this is not my favorite dessert at all. Mm. Sour Patch Kids. Wow, you guys. Uh, oh, birthday right. cake. Uh, birthday cake? I yeah. love birthday cake. Peach oh. cobbler. The, you are very surprised that I don't like this. As a matter of fact, you forbid me to go to the factory because I don't cheese like cheesecake. Cheesecake? Yeah, I don't like oh, cheesecake. I forgot oh, that you don't like cheesecake oh, yeah. at the Cheesecake you Factory. Let, you don't care about me, Steve. Uh, I'm oh, sorry. Great. I know you like key lime pie. 
See, I, I remember like the it. things you like, not the things you dislike. <laughs> See, that's important in a relationship. Well, man of positivity. Yeah, some people believe it, a perfect Friday night in it, it gets you cheesecake for dessert, which, I mean, I know I know a lot of people oh, like would. cheesecake. There is a whole factory, so yeah. See, my wife's not big on cheesecake. I would devour a cheesecake. I yeah. love cheesecake. It's another reason why uh, your wife and I are very same people. In that, in that situation, yes. Yeah, you know I what? love those little slices they have with the different fruit types. Oh, so you can like, Yeah, like, or you get the, I guess it's grape, but because it's purple. But like, you can get a whoop, slice of one of the little ones, each of them. Mm-hmm. So he has like, oh, I'm having a taste test of each one. Oh, it's a flight. A little yeah. cheesecake nice. flight. Oh, yeah. There you go. That's a good way to put it. Okay. So, uh, See, for us, though, it would be ice cream. I mean, but dessert, you're right. I mean, that's mm-hmm. like our excitement is like, okay, Saturday or Friday night, one of those nights we're eating ice cream. Number three is Vicky, no doubt about it. What, Vicky? Vicky? Yeah. On a Friday night? <laughs> yeah. For the perfect well, Friday night. No, yeah, some of our texters, I, yeah. A lot of guys would say that. I yeah. can't say it on the radio. No. No. I know what your perfect Friday night is now. Mm. Uh, see, I've been hanging out. DIY with, projects. I've been hanging out with my folks a lot, helping them move and pack. So I'm real excited on Friday for my dad's mojito. Like, I am ready to drink and Ooh, get work done. Well, having a glass of beer or a glass of wine, number four on the list. But, Vicky, you forget yourself. Let's it, just say back in the, whatever, back before moving started happening, what is your perfect night in? Binging. On there you Netflix. go. Oh, ding, 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 ding. Number I three. Got, I got arts and crafts. <laughs> I do both at the same time. Yeah. You, got it. yeah, you don't know Vicky. Vicky's the binger. I, every time I put a show on and I watch more than one episode, I go, oh, yeah, I'm living the Vicky life. <laughs> <laughs> more than one show. <laughs> yeah. my wife, like my wife and I have been watching this show called Alone, and it's a survival sort of. It's it's like Survivor, but with real people and doing like really surviving. And when we watch more than like, we'll watch one, two, three episodes, and I always turn to Kathy and I go, "You know, we're living the Vicky life now. <laughs> we're living hey. La Vicky Loca." <laughs> <laughs> we just started watching something you'll probably get, enjoy because you're Miss DIY now. It's like some show about people renovating people's backyards. Wait, what? Hey, that sounds, sounds like a, that I think it's on like the Bravo an, channel. Is that an Urban Dictionary? I don't even have a backyard, be. and I'm excited. Yeah. It's like, we'll, we'll, we'll do your backyard, I think it's called, or something like that. I don't Dude, know that, Well, called. think about it. It, it. it makes sense, because mm-hmm. again, if you're sheltering in place, your backyard is like your, your now your oasis, the place yep. you go out. That's your vacation spot. Yeah. Oh, man, some people got some great backyards. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah. <laughs> So we got uh, cheesecake for dessert. We've got uh, being settled in on the couch, binge watching three episodes of TV oh, by eight thirteen yes. p.m. By the way, they said so. By eight thirteen p.m., you've already binged three shows. They were very specific. Why eight thirteen? Well, that's if you're going to ask specific. why, yeah, you want to know why that? Well, maybe number one also involves a specific time that's very odd to me. Six oh nine. And number seven involves a specific time. This is a weirdest thing where basically people have gotten specific about three different times. How they want to binge watch a show. I want three episodes in by 8.13 p.m. Mm. Uh, number seven involves what time you go to bed. And there is a really random specific time to make a perfect Friday night is the time you're in bed. 10.44. Oh, you are close. Ooh, 10.45. You are not as close. Damn. 11.01. You are closer than Steve. Oh, then I'm real off. I was going to say 9.45 because that's when I want to go to bed. <laughs> Vicky, you are an old lady. I am. You really are. Man, Vicky, see, that the, some somebody needs to find you and take you to all the early bird specials. Oh, my God, yes. Yeah. Yeah. The buffets? Dude, those are the best. Yeah. Just go on guilthunters.com or something like that. <laughs> Grandpas, I like to. Not that Steve knows anything about these websites. He's just assuming there's a place called Guilf Hunters. Well, I'm not just a member. I'm also <laughs> a client. Yes. Yeah. In bed by 10.56 p.m. Apparently, that makes the perfect Friday night if you're in bed four minutes before 11 o'clock. Apparently, if you're beyond 10.56, it's 10.57. This is the worst Yeah, you're Friday a party ever. animal. That's about me. It seems about right with us. Like We usually will you know, put Tatum to sleep around 7.30 and then we'll go back downstairs if we're not going if I'm not working the next day we'll just go back downstairs and finish watching whatever show or movie we were watching and then we fall asleep on the couch and it's usually right around 11 that we wake up and we're like oh let's go up to bed I guess you're living the dream aren't you we're living the best life man yeah I wouldn't want it any other way <laughs> isn't it something just how different though your life has changed in a year you know because you know, it's about a year she's been here yeah, yeah. yeah. We were still falling asleep on the couch a year ago. Oh, you were doing that anyway? <laughs> oh, all right. Well, I'm glad you got to return to your single lifestyle before Tatum came in. <laughs> I'm glad you, you know. Remember when we used to just fall asleep on the couch, honey, before Tatum ruined everything? Oh, we'll do it again someday. We so, just watched the movie. Oh, yeah? Yeah. <gasps> oh, <laughs> Good for yes. you. You're a big boy. Now. Oh, I love these. You see, he gave me the look like he gives his mom. I just watched yeah, my whole movie. Watch your approval, BJ. I, I watched just the got movie. excited because I remembered I watched the movie, and I think you guys would like it if you haven't watched it yet. And it's free if you have your premium channels. Ooh. Oh, okay. What do you got? Uh, Queen and Slim. 
I don't know this. It was a movie I wanted to watch forever when I saw like a, a trailer in the movie theaters. Queen it's, and Slim. I'm oblivious to the, what this is. It. It's so good. It's a, just so. It's about. Uh, I mean, it's scary how like it kind of like reminds you of like the world that we're in right now. But it's a, a couple that or not even they're on a date and they're driving. Cop pulls them over. Cop is being a jerk to the guy as he's outside. And then, long story short, the cop shoots at the girl. He grabs the gun, shoots the cop, and now they're wanted. Oh! So, but uh, they are basically running from the law because they know, even though what they did was a form of self-defense, they know how it's going to be skewed. And so now they're just trying to get away, and they become like these, like, like kind of like these folk heroes as they're trying to hide from everyone. And it's it's, it's a really well this done. Cool. Who's in this movie? I don't know either of the actors. Uh, oh. So the, ma- the main actor, I don't know his name, but he was in Get Out. He was the main guy in Get Out. Okay. And he was also one of the characters in, in Black Panther. Oh, okay. He was like the buddy. Oh, that's why he looks familiar. Okay, yeah. Oh. Dude, Flea's in this from yeah. the Red Hot the Chili Peppers. Flea is so good in this because at first you're like, I think that's Flea, but I'm not sure if it's Flea. And uh, as you keep watching, you, you convince yourself that it's not Flea for some reason because just uh, how good of a job he did, I guess. And also they kind of hide like his tats and he doesn't look like or act like Flea. And then you have to I go online and I'm like, sure as ass, there's it's Flea. Oh, that's cool. He's a good actor. Really great. All right. It's a uh, really good movie. I'm going to have to, I'll probably show my wife a trailer and hopefully she'll dig it. It's not it's not bad. So it's not like my typical movie setup. No, I have to say that uh you know the 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 premise and everything makes me sound like 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 it, what could go wrong? Plus it's got it's got some young actors mm-hmm. which is I'm it's always hopeful, you know? And uh these are actors we've seen in legitimate stuff. So you know what Steve, your stock is going up. All right. Yeah, your stock's going up at this one. So <laughs> See? I, you know, sometimes she like peanut butter falcon, so I got a reminder that you know uh nice. you recommended that. Boom. Yeah. Boom. So, I mean, you're starting to get a little cred. She's still a, w- a little wary. And I think it got good reviews. Yeah, I'm- it was like 82% on the old Rotten Tomatoes. Yeah. Tomatoes. Tomatoes. Okay. 7.1 All right, we got that down. Mm-hmm. So, uh, so that fits in. It's, I mean, they're talking about binge-watching TV, but I would argue that watching a great movie also is good for a perfect Friday night in. Movie, documentary, documentary series. Like yeah. The next thing on our, our plate, I think it's on YouTube, is the Paris Hilton documentary. Oh, I, what? I didn't even know there was one. Dude, it looks interesting. It's apparently, I mean, she says that she was just being, a, she was a phony the whole time. Like, she was acting like an idiot the whole time. And well, this whole I, documentary is about how, like, she was basically being, an, and that's all I gather from the trailers and the things that I've seen. Are we going to find out that she's got a really high IQ? And I mean, because that's what, you know what, I mean, gl- gr- granted, maybe she was, I always just thought she was overplaying it because you're on television. you got to overplay it a little yeah. bit. But is she trying to tell me maybe she's even a lot smarter than we even would you know, give her credit I'll for? I'll let you know after I watch the documentary. Okay, then. Yeah, but it's on YouTube. Because I watched that Social Dilemma documentary, and boy, that that's a thing. Oh, it is. Yeah, that's, absolutely. That. Makes you want to put your phone down. <laughs> I know, almost. <laughs> which almost. I, which ruins it's a kind of like super size meat. Almost makes me not want to eat fast food. Almost does. But what yeah. I do after seeing that movie, I yeah. eat fast food. Yes. Of course you did. Yeah. <laughs> um, yesterday, Steve, he did get this one wrong. Kit Harrington played which character on Game of Thrones? The Siege Unicorn. Um, Denalis? No. no. Dararis? No. No. Denali? No. Well, Denalis sounds like what they used to need to get things going in the in the Game of Thrones days. You got any Denalis? Because I just can't get things going today. Wasn't oh. there a character like Daenerys? Daenerys. Daenerys. So but close. But Dena- Daenerys just sounds like a sort of an ED thing. It's yeah. the closest I could get. Yeah, you know, you have, listen, I'm, I'm happy you at least knew there was uh, some something in there. Yeah, Daenerys with- lasts for four hours. Go see your doctor. Yeah, you need a lot of problems. <laughs> uh, Jon Snow, of course, who uh, arguably the only good character on Game of Thrones, really. Uh, wow. As far as, like, good-hearted Whoa. character. Oh. You know what I mean? No, okay. Yeah, arguably the only one that really had a soul from beginning to end. Uh, you want a shot at beating Steve, you got it. 206-421-ROCK. We're playing Beat Migs at 847 on The Rock. Today's podcast was brought to you by Travis Gagne, bankruptcy attorney. Here's another question from a listener. How long is a bankruptcy going to affect my credit rating? Of course, most of the time, by the time we're, we're talking about filing a bankruptcy, the credit has already taken a huge hit. Uh, chapter 7 is going to affect it more negatively than Chapter 13. Uh, chapter 7 stays on your credit report for 10 years from the time you file. It usually takes 7 or 8 years for your credit scores to get back into the normal range in a Chapter 7 case. However, your credit will start to recover even in Chapter 7 after about a year. Um, you'll be able to get credit again right away, usually before uh, your case is even over. 
Uh, chapter 13 stays on your credit report for seven years and usually takes about three, three and a half years for your credit to get back in the normal range. So chapter 13 uh, will mean your credit gets better much more rapidly. Thanks, Travis. If you have more questions about bankruptcy, you can reach out to Travis anytime at choosetherightchapter.com. That's choosetherightchapter.com. Thanks for listening. I need a change. You've been cold to me too many times. You're wasting money. You're a leaker. So I'm replacing you with a new Navian tankless water heater. No more cold shoulders. No more leaks. Just spa-like comfort and Navian peace of mind. And oh, I want you out today. When you're ready for a change, ask your plumber about Navian or visit tanklessmadesimple.com. Count on Navian. 